pelvic floor pain can arise for many reasons. Uh, typically, there is some sort of connection with muscle tension and that irritating either the, the muscles themselves in the pelvic floor or the nerves that go through to those muscles. Now, if you look at this model, you can see that they, there's a couple muscles that are highlighted here, the psoas and the iliacus muscle. And you can see how the iliacus really goes right to the inside surface of the pelvis. Now, there are many other muscles to the pelvic floor that kind of make a, a pelvic bowl of, of muscles that actually go um, really on the, the underside here of where you would sit on a chair. And then there are a bunch of muscles in the back of the hip as well. Now, all of these muscles, when one muscle gets irritated, it's like this kind of uh, tug of war phenomenon. It's like if you were trying to uh, put up a tent in the wilderness and you have, you know, one, um, one stake in the ground with a nice long rope, and then you forgot the other rope, right? It's pulling on one way, but it's not pulling in the other direction. It's like then the tent's going to be very unstable. You know, the, the poles might start to... Uh, you know, tip over and the tent is not going to be able to do its job, right? Things might wear, things might tear. So similarly in the body, when you have muscle tension in one place, it's going to create muscle tension in other places because those muscles are going to be playing tug of war with each other. So in this example, if you have tension in your iliacus or your psoas muscle, which is very common with increased stress, too much sitting, certain athletic activities, certain hypermobile uh, sports, this tension will play tug of war with the muscles in the back of the hip for sure. This is your piriformis. These are some of your deep hip rotators that kind of cut off here. And there's one muscle in particular called the obturator internus, which attaches to the inside of the sit bone here. This is where your butt would sit on the chair, inside of the sit bone and kind of travels around through here and attaches to the outside of the femur. So that muscle, super close to your pelvic floor, and it's very, very commonly tight. When there's tension there, then there's tension in the levator ani and a lot of the pelvic floor muscles that are right here because they're just so intimately connected with each other. I have treated many, many clients with pelvic floor pain, uh, men and women, and have found that by releasing the tension in the iliacus muscle, that allows for the tension in the hips, um, the back of the hip, as well as the pelvic floor to also resolve. Now that doesn't mean that these other muscles don't need to be addressed and there's techniques to do that as well. But if you're working on just these air, this area of the body without working on the iliacus and releasing the tension there, oftentimes your relief is temporary. 